What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack all of our education here. And if you are new here, be sure to be subscribed with notifications on for the next fire video. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about block DAG. Now, one of the key parts to this is understanding why new L1 protocols coming out during a bull run basically meant the most millionaires out of any approach ever. 15,000 X was what Ethereum did at the moment that it did an ICO and to date. That is an example of what a new L1 does during multiple future bull runs, but most importantly, what's going on in 2024. Back in the day, we had Bitcoin as the proof of work gold standard, and today we have BlockDAG coming out with a Caspa twist on it, so it is a proof of work powered protocol. It's super exciting, and not only have I seen hundreds of other YouTubers talking about it, but they are doing this crazy pre-sale right now, so I'm gonna dive into it in this video. I wanna not only talk about the market reasons and conditions for something like a new L1 protocol and just L1s in general. But I also want to talk about what BlockDAG is, show you guys what it's like to actually buy into something because I am getting involved in this. And also I want to talk a little bit about the future here, what it looks like when actually mining works on a mobile application or with cloud mining, because I know a lot of people watching this are not only stakers, but your miners. First and foremost, let's dive into the market conditions part here. I wanna talk about why BlockDAG is positioned in such a way to already have raised over $65 million in their presale. That is a mind boggling amount of money. And the reason for this is because of the current market. The current market conditions in the crypto space are ripe for the bull run. They're already trending up. Bitcoin's at like 60,000 and people know that it's secure and safe investing in Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. But ultimately the people who are in fact making 200 X, a thousand X, are investing in the more higher risk, smaller altcoins. Now I've mentioned this many, many times before, do your own research, dive onto the page linked in the description below so you guys can check out more information on all of this. All the videos I do here are to try and bring you guys the latest and greatest. And I reached out to the BlockDAG team to say, hey, I see what you guys are doing. Anybody that raises over 65 million this quickly, and has so many YouTubers talking about it, I'm gonna talk about it. I think it's really compelling. I think what they're developing is really interesting. And then they released who the team is. And I was like, whoa, all right, time to do a video on this because not only are they making a lot of really impressive technology moves with the proof of work protocol, but they have a really incredible team that is focused a lot on cybersecurity and just making it really, really secure. And if there's anything I've learned in this space over the last 10 years that I've been in it, a new L1 is gonna get tested. They're going to be hackers from all over the world trying to do everything they can to get into this and trying to really just sabotage it. And I know that because I've seen it happen so many times. So seeing this team, I feel pretty confident in saying that this team is gonna know what to do and really just how to follow through with the design. Now, Caspa is a really cool proof of work concept and Bitcoin is a really cool proof of work concept, but a lot of people just feel like they missed the boat on some of these. And that is why I wanted to bring this video to everybody today. So the market conditions are ripe for something in 2024, a new L1 specifically to go bonkers, thousand X. The rationale behind a thousand X potential is the fact that it's already done a 10 X. Like literally it started in the first phase and it's already done a 10 X for the people that got in super, super early. And of course the people who first get in deserve that crazy 10 X right out of the gate. But ultimately what's gonna happen is everybody's going to start learning about this over the course of the next six months as the bull market kicks into gear and continues to go up and you're gonna have just chaos. And it is going to happen just like it did in 2017 where everybody's trying to find the new L1s like the SUIs and the block DAGs and all of these ones that are coming out that are doing higher throughput, higher transactions per second. And they're just trying to get more people building on top of it. Now, not only are enterprise grade applications gonna be built, on BlockDAG, but this is a crazy opportunity on the mobile device. That was what I was so curious about, was getting this on mobile and being able to actually use it on mobile and mine on mobile is one of the first that I've heard to actually successfully do it. I know Solana suggested a phone once upon a time that got torn apart, but ultimately being able to do things on your mobile device opens up to billions of users. So now that we've gone over kind of why the market is perfectly conditioned for a new L1 like BlockDAG to roll out this year, but let's talk about what it is. The whole concept of proof of work has been mentioned on this channel hundreds, if not thousands of times. So one of my favorite things about using the algorithm that is proof of work for L1 protocols is just the security. A lot of people out there are more emphasizing on the proof of stake side of things with Ethereum and some of these other protocols that have been released. 
but the tried and true one that Bitcoin really presented to the world and innovated was proof of work. So I'm really stoked to see that BlockDeck is actually leading with that as the security and the speed concept. So it is also known to be more decentralized. When you have individuals mining and corporations mining, you are going to split off more decentralization. Proof of stake, what we found in the example that is EOS, once upon a time for all the OGs watching this video, was cartels form. People's like exchanges start going together and saying like, hey, you know what? We're gonna pool all of our tokens together and we're gonna control this thing. That's what happened with EOS and once upon a time, it just totally pulled back. I don't even know where EOS is today, but ultimately that was what happened with delegated proof of stake with the OS and proof of stake really struggled with that very much because on paper it's cool, but then in practice, you put humans in front of something it just totally changes. So ultimately the crypto mining made simple with the mobile device is super exciting because to have this in the hands of a billion people and then simply just having them get passive rewards from that is crazy to think about guys. This is just like a, a next level operation when you're decentralizing using phones. Now, the really cool part is that the low transaction fees are what always come up when you're talking about proof of work. And one of my favorite things about this is that there is a EVM compatibility. So it does bridge to Ethereum as well. So you have the best of both worlds. You have the speed, the decentralization, and the security of proof of work. And then you also have EVM compatibility. So you have the Ethereum ecosystem that can access this. And I really do think that the intrinsic scalability of something that uses proof of work like BlockDAG is important to think about because when you're talking about mobile devices, you're talking about a lot of users here, a lot of users. And lastly, what I wanna talk about, and in addition to everything that I just mentioned around BlockDAG is the payment card. So once upon a time, crypto.com came out and they had their card and it really pushed the space forward. People were just eager to get their hands on it. And then a bunch of exchanges started rolling out cards and cards became kind of normal and then they sort of pulled back pretty hard over the last four years and this is really really cool to see because this is the first one i've seen in many years now coming out with a card that is for crypto payments is effectively a game changer for people in unbanked places because you have your balance you have the ability to use that card top up the balance you have the ability to make those mining rewards which are 10 times if not 100 times better than credit card rewards so really excited to see that the card is coming back what i'm going to do next is jump onto the site i'm going to buy some tokens and show you guys exactly what's going on with the pre-sale and how a project like this that is coming out in the bull run can raise 65 million so quickly with a team like this so let's jump onto the website on the buy now button you connect your metamask wallet and you are brought to this screen i'll lighten it up for everybody you can see that you need to purchase 13,000 coins to unlock a 2% auto bonus. So this is a tiered model where you're actually getting in and it is opening up more bonuses on top of what you purchase. So I'm going to go through the process of buying some coins. I'm going to buy 0 0.0025 and we're going to go ahead and use Ethereum right here. We're going to click buy. It is going to pend on the MetaMask wallet and... As you can see, the purchase was successful and I can refer friends and start earning 10% more and you can copy the code right there, which is a really smart way of adding some virality. All right, now that we have made our purchase, we're gonna go ahead and go to the ROI calculator and we can see that they are worth 390 at launch. And you can see that I can calculate all the different types of uh, price points as well, just similarly to the mining profit. So how many coins will I mine per day? You can adjust it and it basically shows you the different stages in which you're going to be able to earn certain amounts. So this is on the mobile device. You would be owning 20 block DAG per day and that would be about 25 cents at that stage. So if we go through, you can see all the different stages and the different price points that you will be earning. So I really like the idea of this one here, 100 bucks a day. One of my favorite screens is the Block Explorer. So you can see just the sheer volume here of people that are buying in every few minutes. And I love to watch live Block Explorers scroll because it just gives you a sense for the other people that are involved. So you can do your purchase simply by clicking that buy. This is their team, absolute rock stars. You can see from MIT and Harvard. You can see the miner was released on the App Store. And of course, they have their ad in Times Square that's really cool to watch. But ultimately, they've raised 65 mil so far, which is wild to think about. 
mobile first. Love that approach with the X1 Miner app. The speed meets security section here. It's inspired by Bitcoin and Caspa, as I mentioned. And it is going to be for enterprise grade DeFi solutions as well as everyday applications. But I like to highlight this section here. When you're talking about enterprise level DeFi applications, you're talking about billions of dollars moving through this protocol. They have tons of different contributors. And I do like the uh, different mining rig sections here. I want to talk about this on another video because mining is ultimately the best way to secure this. The X30 mines 600 coins a day while the X100 earns 2000 a day. So these zero block wastage and strong cryptographic algorithms are key. And I love the proof of work lead here. That was one of the key reasons why I wanted to talk about this. So they have a lot of things coming after the launch. I'm definitely going to be tuning in to the exclusive team video. Pumped to see that because they just announced their team. Anthony Turner is the CEO and I went to his LinkedIn, checked him out. And this, this team is insane. This is really impressive. Both FinTech and blockchain coming into the space really aggressively. They have so many cool advisors with Harvard, MIT, and all these extensive backgrounds just to make sure that a new L1 like this is secure. And I really do find it fascinating that people like this are getting into the crypto space as a whole. I think it's really important to take stock in the type of talent that is coming into this space is remarkable and doing their own projects like BlockDAG as an L1 is really fun to watch all of these different individuals getting in and just crushing it because they know there's just too much noise and not enough actual builders coming into the space. So really excited to see this team actually come in with experience in the fintech space and bring in just high levels of security here like this is next level guys so that is it for my overview and if you guys have had a chance to check this out you may have already seen block dag on other people's channels you don't do price predictions on the channel never have and never will myself but i did some research i saw other people making predictions and these are not my predictions these are other individuals out there that have made these types of predictions so the most ambitious forecasts that I saw were $120, which is crazy to think about. That's like a 2.5 million percent uh, upside, which is nuts to think about, but that's the most ambitious. And then you have other people that are forecasting moderately. If you go on YouTube right now and you type it in, you can see that it's people talking about $10 in 2025 and things like that on the BDAG price. But I am really intrigued by the amount of influential people that are talking about this right now. It's all over the place. I was curious about it, so I reached out to the team and just wanted to see how things were being done differently. And I think that it's important to do things kind of differently with the whole mining concept of BDAG and you can earn that true passive income as a miner. You can even set up your own rig or do it on your mobile device. And I think that there's so much that can be talked about on the mining side. So my hope is, is that in the future, I could do more videos on this because there's a lot of moving parts here. And I love proof of work, always have, always been very into Bitcoin on the proof of work side and interested in it. So the mining equipment, I think I want to do another video on in the future, talk a little bit more about cloud mining in the future there, and also just how the hardware works. And this is just a really interesting kind of parallel here. 2009, we had Bitcoin, you know, 2014, we got ETH, 2020, we got Solana. And a lot of people are saying that in 2024, BDAG is the bull case here as an L1. And I think based on all of the things that I'm seeing, the stars are aligning, they're doing millions in giveaways and people are talking about it like crazy. Any company that's operating on mining rigs and has hardware and people that are investing in that hardware and getting involved in the mining community, I'm a fan of. So that is it for this video. The links will be in the description below so you guys can check out BlockDag for yourself. The links will be in the description below for the giveaway as well as just signing up and just testing it out. But do your own research. This is not financial advice by any means, of course always do your own research. I'm just here to present you with what I think are cool options and cool things to look into. So check out their website, do some research on the team and just dive onto the platform, see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments and I will see you here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.